Hello, welcome pen friends. It's day two of 30 inks, 30 days. We're uh, September 2018, because I know this will be around probably longer, but, and so today we're doing Mont Blanc Lucky Orange. That's the, the color of the day that I picked, and I have a sample that was sent from pen friend and viewer Sue. So I've been so lucky because got this, this awesome uh, sample of the ink. So let's get started here. Uh, got it. I got it filled in here. Can you imagine how this is going to look when we get further down the month? It's going to be so colorful <laughs> and we'll be able to compare. I believe there's going to be another orange on the 30th. Yeah, we're going to have Mont Monteverde Mandarin Orange on the 30th. So it'll be kind of nice to have them all together. But right now, just getting started. So let's get over here. So I started in my uh, Rhodia Gold book with it and I started with the medium nib because after yesterday how it <laughs> the broad bled through I was kind of you know I thought well I'll start with the medium so today it was just the opposite I wrote with the medium and I right away wanted to see what it looked like so now I have the broad nib in the serendipity and I just love it because the broad nib shows off the ink and nothing bled through here on the orange there might have been just a tinge where I did that heavy uh, fill in so uh, that was awesome. That was good to know. We're back in a range maybe of a uh, regular uh, ink that won't bleed through everything. But uh, this will be wonderful for uh, writing on envelopes and for really hardy, heavy-duty paper that'll take it. But I love this. I actually, orange is one of my favorite colors. It's so bright. And uh, I pulled out some stuff because I noticed that it looked on the surface like the di diamine pumpkin. But there are some differences and we'll go through that here in a bit. But uh, oh boy, I just love this. So let's see if I can uh, go right into, this is the Cafe Notebook from, uh, I never can pronounce their company, but... Uh, Nanami Paper Company. It's the Cafe Note size. I like it. It has the seven millimeter rule and I had, you know, kind of hoarded it and put off writing in it, but here I am because I'm determined to do this, my uh, project with my fasting and low carb and it just, it's, it's stunning. I love this ink. I could see uh, where the, the shading is a little bit subtle. It's not quite, I mean, I've got inks that uh, do a little bit more shading, but I just love how it looks in that broad nib. So this is, uh, yeah, it's the serendipity with the broad nib. And I, I know that uh, most everybody who's watched has seen that a lot, but let, just for anybody who's just <laughs> popping on here, it's uh, the one that came on the serendipity hybrid pen. This is the, uh, let me put it up here. A James Phineas Robert Oster um, hybrid. It's a. It has the regular fountain pen nib and feed, and then it's a, a also a dip pen. It has a tiny little reservoir, but you get three pages of A5 writing with it, approximately. Sometimes it's more, but that depends on the nib. Uh, right now, with the broad nib, it it goes pretty quickly, and then you just dip again. So I just love it. I I could look at that color a lot because I love orange. So, there's that notebook, and then I put it in into here, because I'm going to do that each day. Whoops, I, did, I forgot to tag it with uh, 30 inks, 30 days, but I do have the date, so I'll, I'll know that September 2nd. Uh, but that's how it came out in there. Did really well. This is uh, currently inked Inky Fingers. I forget that some somebody may pop along that's never seen any of my other videos, <laughs> so there's a lot there. Okay, so then, like yesterday, I went right down the line with my little sample papers, and it did okay on the Loistrum. This is the Loistrum paper. Probably should have tagged it and everything. Yesterday, we had the bleed through, but nothing on this one. This is the medium nib, but that would be what I'd be using in here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to use a broad nib in my Loistrum. Okay, and then um, here's the Rhodia dot grid. Did great on that too, of course, you know. I mean, I would expect that, and of course, no bleed through there. And then I was a little surprised by this. This is the one paper of my papers that this ink did kind of bleed through. I'll turn it over in a minute, and that is the UB notebook, the Target. I mean, this is a $2.50 notebook, so, uh, but I've always had pretty good luck with it, made in Vietnam. So that did, um, you know, you could see it's nothing like the uh, blue bonnet was, but it did bleed through. 
Okay, and then uh, no trouble on the Office Depot College Ruled uh, notebook that I'm using every day, so that's the good news. Nothing, nothing there. You can barely see it. And then <laughs> I knew it would be okay on the CVS uh, Caliber paper because uh, the permanent ink yesterday didn't bleed through, and it was great on that. So that's how that went. Okay, and then um, let's see. I just wanted to show you a couple little. Uh, comparables like um, right away I mean isn't that vibrant that and you're getting a pretty true lighting I think I've got a lot of light from my window coming in um, so I did pull out diamine pumpkin because it's going to be very comparable very similar Let's see if I you know when you hold it up you get different kind of different results but I do believe that Mont Blanc lucky orange is brighter so and then of course I found Robert Oster orange zest in my um, sample collection and that's also deeper and darker and it may behave differently but I just wanted to show it anyway and then because I have a 30 mil uh, little bottle of the uh, D diamine uh, pumpkin wait is it 30 it's small I can't remember first yeah I think it is 30 um, I wanted to go ahead and put it on Tamoy River paper so we could look at it side by side let's see I'll probably have to lift that up um, and I did notice that the Mont Blanc uh, seems to shade better on the Tamoy River paper. A uh, little bit more uh, difference there. Um, but I, I love the Diamine Pumpkin um, shade. You know, it's very pretty and it's very affordable. So I did find, it was just a quick search. You know, there may be lots of other sources. But I found Anderson Pens carries it, uh, the Mont Blanc Lucky Orange, for... Um, $20.50 for a 30 mil little bottle. It says currently out of stock, but they do give you a chance to put in your email if you want to get it. Now, you know, I, I went to Van Ness and I couldn't find it. I went to Goulet and I couldn't find it. So that, but that's not an exhaustive search, you know. I, I, probably those of you who have ever bought Mont Blanc inks, I haven't, would know where to go to look for it. And you probably have a source. So, so that's how it was. Um, I'm going to write with it for the rest of the day, too, and, and we'll have another color tomorrow. Let's see. What do we got for tomorrow? <laughs> Hadn't really thought about tomorrow yet. Okay, tomorrow we're going into a whole different group. It'll be Monteverde Olivine. And that was also sent to me by Pen Friend Sue. So that's interesting. I'm finally getting to get into some of these that I wanted to try for so long, but I've been sidetracked with all my other reviews and projects. So, um... At the risk of I don't know what's going to happen, let's do what we did yesterday. I'm, try I'm trying to make these a little bit shorter because there'll be 30 of them and it could get a little obnoxious. I'm not sure. but um, So I'm trying not to go on and on forever. I'd like to keep it under 10 minutes. Let's do the bath test. <laughs> um, I have a feeling it won't be quite the same, but we'll just have to see. So here goes. <laughs> Okay, so see, that's not like yesterday, but let's see if there's anything left by the time it... You, and if you were here yesterday and saw Noodler's um, Texas Blue Bonnet, it pretty much didn't... It, it just didn't alter it much at all. Oh, I don't think you'll be able to read it after. And it's an unfair test. It's not... I mean, I don't believe this ink claims to be um, waterproof, and that's how most of our fountain pen inks are, unless they say... Um, that they're going to be. So there we have it. <laughs> That's probably not fair. I'm probably going to get feedback on that. But <laughs> anyway, I thought, why not? Um, that's one way of testing it. Uh, so I have learned, which because I was such a newbie, you know, not that long ago, I have learned that you've got to watch out what you do on your envelopes because that's what happens if there's torrential rain when you're, you know, your uh, mail people are, are sorting and delivering and trying to get the mail to us. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Okay, so we'll be back tomorrow with the uh, Monteverde Olivine. And uh, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, there's a lot of fun going on over there. There's so many people doing this. I'm so glad that I finally clued in and, and I'm participating. Um, it's, you know, of course, sponsored by Ink at Ink Journal. They have the awesome monthly uh, ink flight box that I love. And then there's there's hints of prizes from Rickshaw. And who doesn't like those sleeves? Oh, my gosh. And uh, pen cases and stuff. So 
So just uh, don't miss out on the fun. It's not too late. Get on over there and, and uh, see what everybody's posting. It's really a lot of fun. I spent way too much time last night. Finally, I cut myself off, you know, responding and looking at what other people were, um, you know, posting under this hashtag. Because if you just, you know, kind of cue that in, even if you're following a lot of people, you you can just take a glance at all the all the pictures and oh some of them I'm just so envious of their photography skills so anyway I will see you tomorrow and thank you so much for joining me bye for now